Hey guys, this is a quick demonstration of how to use a T500 for a denture duplicate or in this case a surgical guide duplicate from a complete denture, you know. The process of using this scanner is way more simple and automated than using an intraoral scanner. So uh, the reality is um, I believe, you know, people that are doing a lot of digital dentures in a lot of uh, surgical guide cases for dentures patients they will benefit um, way more from having a scanner like this because the process is way more simple and efficient. So um, so you basically start from uh, uh, getting the denture duplicate in the scanner. Like such, there are gonna be two parts, the outside and the inside. In this case, I'm gonna start with the inside. Um, you scrub the area that you wanna scan then the software just with one click is gonna scan um, everything. You just gotta put the denture in there. The process is very automatic. You can see how the inside part of the denture gets scanned uh, 100%. In some cases, you will have to use a little bit of a spray depending on the acrylic that you're using. Uh, right here, I'm changing the position of the denture. Now I'm going to scan the outside part of this. So I just turn the denture, click, I will crop it, as you can see right there, and then one click, scan, and done. The scanner is gonna basically um, get all the data that I need. Now I'm gonna end up with two parts, as you will see here in just a second. So I'm gonna end up with the outside and inside. Now the software, um, in this case, Colab from Medit, is going to process that information. And what I'm gonna do is merge into two parts. For the most part, the scanner does a really good um, job uh, aligning things. You can also choose points if you have to. In this case, I'm going to proceed because everything is perfectly aligned. You're gonna end up with some scatter, um, obviously, from some parts of the scanner that um, are very close to the denture. So in this case, I will select the denture, crop it. There might be a couple extra data here and there. Uh, lasso tool, select them, delete them. And then you do the same thing for top and bottom. In this case, I'm gonna switch to the inside part of the denture. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to use the lasso tool. Basically go all the way around the denture and then just uh, select the denture itself, click crop, and then clean that extra data that is floating around. The process is very easy. So you're going to end up with two different scans. You accept the data and then you merge the two files into one single STO file right there. Um, in this case, actually, um, we end up with a couple of little holes, as you will see right there. Well, um, there's a little function um, in the software that will allow you to select the hole and then just fill with one click. And there you go. Once it's completely filled, you accept the data and now you can export um, the STL file for your planning.